I don't know if it's the... I mean, it is the real America. Uh, I don't think Obama was perfect as a, as a president. He was still serving the, 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 the idealist imperialism of America. But as a human being, I, I got to agree that he was... Yeah, he was, he was cool. He was uh, presidential. He was respectful of his uh, his enemies as much as his friends, uh, which is what a president should be. I understand that you are I understand that you are uh, combative when when you are trying to win. But once you become the president, you're supposed to be the president of all Americans or all French or or all your constituents, right? Because you serve the people. In here, yeah, like this one, nah. But hey, you know, it is what it is, what you want me to say. What up, DJ Gellas? Did you vote? Are you the one who gave them Florida? Tell the truth. Lol, it's just a white jacket. What's wrong with you guys? Why are you talking like if I'm you're always dressed like a bum? It's just can't I dress from for you guys from time to time? Shit. What it do, Gilberto? Eh, eh, eh. You know, just, just, yeah. You know, just sometimes you have to put some pressure on all these guys. You know. Show them a little bit of Congolese pretty boy. You know how we do. Merci beaucoup. See, they appreciate it. I I also think, but at least they were, you know, with with presidents like Reagan, with Obama, they 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 knew how to push to pose in a way that made people feel like they were their allies and they, they, you felt respected. Uh, soon as he got in, he started talking about Africa as shitty countries. He started like, speaking the mind of what a lot of the Americans think. Because what people don't understand is that America is not New York City or, or South Beach or Los Angeles. America is a bunch of different states and there's a lot of ignorance out there. Uh, like in a bunch, like, like in a lot of countries, but uh, it's not because it's the richest and, and, and most powerful country in the world that the people who are inside are, there's, not, there's a bunch of crazy people in there. I mean, like, like everywhere in the world, but it's just that they, they, what I'm saying is that they find a way through the propaganda, through Rocky, Rambo, Superman, Spider-Man, etc., etc., um, and all the movies they did to make people believe that, yeah, they're the good guys, you know, they're the good guys, they're the savior of humanity, they're the savior, like, listen, aliens come. Americans find a way on 4th of July, etc., etc. And they are, they are very good with the symbolism and uh, the symbolism and, uh, uh, and yeah, the propaganda and, and, and a lot of these, the, the way they exported their culture these last 50 years after the Cold War and after the Second World War, uh, made them have this image. And I believe that it was good for them to have this image and that, uh, yeah, the way, the stance they have now, I don't know. A lot of other countries are gonna try to, to position themselves now. It's not gonna be France, they're too small. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be Europe because Europe has always been at war with each other. Uh, and they, they disorganized and not united. Uh, but maybe China, maybe some other countries will start to, you know, try to, 
to move the center of the earth in another place. And we'll see. We'll see. You know. Nice. Indeed, brother. Indeed. Listen. So you're in Georgia, huh? You are the guys who are holding those six votes. Come on, man. <laughs> you know the Congolese, huh? Thank you. It's not every day that people wear a white jacket. Comprendre bisou. You pay. No, I wear a jacket. Oh, yeah, I wear a white jacket all the time. It's just, you know. It was always a prop some propaganda. Good versus evil, cowboy versus Indian, capitalism versus communism. They are the best at selling the idealism. Bleh. Preach, bro. That's crazy. Kizomba versus Urban Keys. Like, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> No, no, that's true. I completely agree. It's uh, it, they they know how to use that, and the the rest of Occident have 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 used all this for a long time to 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 control the mind of a lot of people into some binary uh, wars and some binary uh, thinking that made them be able to make a lot of moves to control the world. And where I believe that he's he's gonna be uh, destructive to this country is that he made a lot of the friends of the U.S. become skeptical of that friendship because he he, he went from the unilateral unilateralism to the multilateralism, and and now a lot of these people they understand that they're on their own, like Europe. Europe is starting to, to say to itself, yo, we have to, yeah, we have to be careful because these guys are not, are to, actually not with us. They are trying to just stay the number one. And uh, it's crazy. 